today we are creating a kind of deformed abstract art kind of thing um, by using deformers. Uh, in the last video we saw how we can use nonlinear deformers to create a pretty complex or you can say unique shapes. So let's see how we can create an abstract art using deformers and create something interesting out of it. Uh, let's start off by taking a plane. You can pretty much take any object you want. This is completely like a creative process and I'm going to make this somewhere around 50 and 50. Uh, since deformers requires a large amount of samples, uh, sorry, subdivisions. So I'm going to keep subdivisions to pretty, I think, uh, around medium range. Then I'll make it probably 100 or so or pretty much smooth them. So let's see. I'm going to start off by uh, let's go to deform and let's create a nonlinear. I think I'm going to create a sign and I'm going to increase the amplitude to 0.1 or something or maybe 0.2 and just rotate this. To somewhere around like 90 degrees on the z-axis once you're done with this uh, let's increase the wavelength to probably around sorry 1 or 0 0.6 0 0.2 0 0.3 yeah somewhere around like this and amplitude 2.1 i think those are pretty high 0 0.05 to make it even less i think i need to make this 0 0.1 or something so as you can see we have something like this and i'm going to increase the amount of subdivisions we have so just so it looks pretty smooth and let's make it 100 and 100 all right so if i hit 3 now i should get smooth edges yes so let's keep it like this and i think i'm going to select my sign uh, deformer and i'm just going to rotate it uh, to somewhere like this to create an interesting look okay i think it looks good now now let's uh, go to deform and uh, the way we are going to be doing this is we are going to be combining a lot of deformers or you can say more than one to create a very interesting scene. We don't have to use like a lot of them. We just have to use a couple to get the result. But uh, this is just a way of showing like how you can use multiple deformers to create interesting shape. Um, let's take a twist and I'm going to increase the start angle to somewhere like 90 degrees and I'm just going to select my twist deformer and rotate it somewhere like this. Okay, I think I'm going to keep it like this and in the twist I'm going to make this somewhere around 300 and maybe like 400, 600. Okay, so I'm getting something now and I think I'm going to make it even more harsh. So we have something like this. I'm going to turn on uh, two-sided lighting and let's, uh, as you can see, I'm, I can move my deformers around to create like if I'm not happy with the overall result of how it's looking. I think I'm going to make this pretty low now, just a little bit. Let's turn this on, yeah. So let's keep it somewhere around like this where I can get a pretty interesting look. And I think this is looking good enough for me. And uh, yeah. So I'm going to hit three on my keyboard to make this pretty smooth. And I can always change my sign as well. I can like rotate it if I want. I can add more subdivisions to it. I'm going to select my camera now and uh, let's go into some view like this and uh, let's open the film gate and uh, let's make the resolution to somewhere around 1k and let's make the renderable camera to main so once you're done with this uh, let's go to the outliner and uh, i think we are going to call this deformed there we go now uh, I'm going to keep this as it is uh, and uh, I'm not going to actually delete the history and get rid of those deformers. So since I want this to be completely procedural so I can change it anytime I want. Uh, so I'm going to keep the deformers as they are now. Uh, just setting the view and go to Arnold and uh, just go to subdivision and uh, set the type to Cataclyde. Just so we have a nice subdivisions in the render. Now uh, I'm going to lock my camera now and let's go to the IVR select your IPR and let's see uh, let's go to the render debug and occlusion okay so we have something like this uh, let me just switch okay and uh, I'm going to get rid of my uh, actually go out to the perspective camera and I'm going to see how we can like make this even like good looking okay yeah let's pause this now let's go to the main camera let's unlock it 
and I'm going to make this smaller. I'm going to unlock the camera now. I think uh, I can make it like this as well, but yeah. I think I have to increase the amount of uh, twist we have on this somewhere like this. Okay. All right. So I think I'm happy with this uh, kind of look. And let's turn this on. Yeah. Uh, now I'm going to simply get out of my debug shading and let's go to the rendering let's take a directional light and i'm going to go to the perspective view so we can see what we are doing and let's rotate our directional light to see what kind of result we get i'm going to change the test resolution to 50 percent for now just so we can make the changes a little bit quicker and uh, let's see All right. Okay, I think I'm going to keep it like this uh, for now. Uh, and let's go to the shape and let's create some materials for it. And I'm going to go to the stand circle. Let's call this deformed. And I'm going to make the weight to one. Let's make it metallic a little bit maybe like 0.5 the roughness will be around 0.3 and uh, let's add a little bit of coat and thin film into it let's make the coat roughness to 0.2 and i'm going to add a little bit of thin film into it like 270 and uh, let's make this 1.4 somewhere around like this and um, let's go to the specular and just change the specular color to something like a bit of dark blue kind of thing and I'm going to go to render and update the full scene. And let's select our main shape. So as you can see, we don't uh, get that like metallic look that we were going for. And I'm going to change the IR to somewhere around like 2.4. And let's go to the base color and I'm going to make the base color to pretty dark, something like this and um, i think now we are getting somewhere so let's make the metalness to 0.9 or something and uh, the specular roughness will be 0.3 let's make the specular to white again and let's go to the thin film and uh, we can just play around with this until we are happy i think this color is looking good now i'm going to go to the arnold section and take a sky dome light and actually the sky dome light is pretty strong on this uh, so i'm going to make the intensity to 0.1 or something just so we have the overall look of this and uh, let's play around with the directional light to see or uh, let's get rid of this and only play around with the directional light and let's scale this up so i can control this better and uh, yeah let's take the rotation and play around with it Okay, so I think this is uh, looking good and I think I'm just going to make this even lower. Now I'm going to pause this and I'm going to take another directional light and let's bring this out and let's scale this up and uh, let's make some adjustment to it and let's create a variation of another light. So I'm just randomly moving this, there is no like right or wrong, I'm just randomly moving my light around to create something and uh, let's select this one and play around with this okay so as you can see we have uh, something like this result and as i said uh, deforms are a pretty cool thing to play around with and you can kind of create a pretty interesting scene out of it uh, i think the roughness value on this uh, is too much so i'm just going to at the end of this i'm just going to decrease the roughness value so let's make it 0.1 and in the 0.1 i think in the quote as well now we have pretty metallic scene and uh, if you think uh, your scene is looking pretty dark you can always go back and go to Arnold. I think uh, this is looking perfect for the kind of art we were going for and you can increase the exposure 10 
Oh, that's too bright. Five. So I'm going to keep it to somewhere around like 0.5 maybe. And uh, if you think the scene is pretty dark, you can take another just simply hit Control D and uh, just take another light and just create another kind of dimension to it to create. As you can see, we are uh, kind of like revealing more stuff uh, on our twisted scene. All right. So now I think uh, we are revealing more out of it. So I think it's looking good now. Uh, definitely play around with it to create complex structure. I've taken a plane, maybe try taking a cube or cylinder out of it and create something else out of it. So I hope you like the video. And if you do create something out of it, definitely send me on Instagram. I'd love to see your work and how you're going through my videos. I hope they are helping you with this kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, have a good day.